Hi, welcome to this week's reading vlog. It is Tuesday afternoon. Um, I'm starting it a bit late because yesterday I think I should just write off. I had a terrible weekend sleep. I'm not 100% sure why, but I think I had about five hours sleep over the space of three days. So I spent a lot of my time yesterday sleeping in the morning and then napping when I could when the kids were. However, I have, I'm trying to find the book now, <laughs> I have an update for you because I had a chance to sit down in the quiet for a bit last night, I started and finished the Starlight Watchmaker. Um, considering how short it is, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really, really thought that with the size of it, I wasn't going to, but I really did. So I'm going to try and prop you up here, I think, while I'm talking, that's not going to work. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely have made a good start. I am currently on chapter 6 which is page 68 of the Guinevere Deception um, because I've finished the Starlight Watchmaker I am going to be tabbing up my Sophie Kinsella book for the Contemporary Club that will be I don't think I'm going to tab in sections I think it's just going to be, I'll read it as I go and tab along with thoughts and feelings instead of tabbing how much I need to read for the day. So, I need to get my tabs out for that. They can be slipped in the front. Other than that, I have managed to film my January wrap up today. I know it's a bit late but I'm hoping to edit tonight. And tomorrow morning get it up um, and do a bit more reading. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done tonight because I really want to make a good dent in the Guinevere Deception. I went out this morning and you know how I was saying that I always have my earphones in my coat pocket? Well this time I did not because I took my earphones to work with me so that I could listen to the audiobook while I was on my break. So I ran out this morning um, to run some errands. I ended up going to the post office and long story short, spent a long time in there. I then had, I think it was probably about, I think I was gone for about an hour because it's like, at my pace if I'm walking normally, it's about 15 minutes walk there, maybe 20 pushing it um, and then just picking up the bits and pieces so I missed out on like an hour of audiobook time which irritated me but you know the quiet was nice so I'm going to do a few more household things and they're going to cook some tea for later and yeah just trying to get things looking neat and tidy again because I'm starting to get a bit anxious about the fact that things are looking a mess again. Because I have done Instagram pictures and I've done some filming, there were books everywhere. I've also decided to change up my bookcase a bit, um, just because of space. It's sort of... So, you have to excuse the shaken back, but... So, along here, basically, this entire bookcase was my... Harry Potter bookcase um, so but then I wanted to sit in front of the bookcase while I was filming so because it looked a mess I moved all these books here and my middle grade books were at the top of this shelf so these top two um, and all that was down there so then I've had to then separate my Harry Potter stuff which is fine I don't mind that but I've had to separate them um, we, we've currently got Maleficent, which is, she's 
she's been on the whiskey, I think. There we go. Um, and yeah, so I currently got those spanning across there, but then I've also got that for my special editions, and I need to add the box of my other editions in between them, which will push that further along, which means I might not be able to fit a lot on there. The only problem is I wanted to put my wands maybe somewhere inside one of these but if I use this shelf which is the only shelf that it actually fits on I'm going to have to move all of my hardbacks and I don't have any room <laughs> there is no room and there's not even I mean there is that little bit but that's become a bit of a bedside table for me as you can see so that's my like TBR section and the bedside table it's a mess so yeah um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that at the moment but I do really like the collection of books that I've got going down there it's a pretty decent one I was thinking of trying to separate I have generally got them separated so if you look at this I've got like my middle grades here but then I'd say from like there the rest of these are retellings um, and then up here I've got um, a small section of the sci-fi magic um, from here to here it's like folklore mixed into the fantasy stuff um, and then obviously the sci-fi section looks small because I've got my J. Kristoff stuff here um, and yeah, like, this this entire bookcase is um, author-based. So I've got Schwab up to there. I've got Holly Black. I've got a few extras there, which I wasn't 100% sure what to do with them. Then I've got Tahira Murphy, Shushman. Um, and yeah, it just, you get the idea of it. It looks pretty, <laughs> um, but that just means that I haven't really got a plan at the moment, so everything looks a mess. So, as I was saying, there's books everywhere, there is Instagram pop props everywhere, um, there's also glasses from when I've had drinks while I've been filming. Um, drinks that I bring up to bed it just looks a bit of a mess at the moment but yeah so that's my update this is probably going to be quite a long intro um I may or may not update you later depending on how much I get read how much I get done because I don't actually think you want to hear about all the cleaning and all the tidying I've done but yeah so I will check in with you as soon as I can so it is a Thursday afternoon, I apologise for the hair being a bit bushy, I decided I was going to dye it this morning and then couldn't be bothered to dry it with the hairdryer. So I just let it dry naturally and this is what's happened. I didn't vlog yesterday, it was just a really busy day so I didn't get round to it. Um, I have managed to get to chapter 9 on the audiobook of the Guinevere Deception. I'm not 100% sure how many pages in that is, but I will double check that and let you know at some other point. The reason I stepped in today is because I have book mail and who doesn't love book mail? So, I'm gonna open it up. And I think I know what this is because, again, Claire. Um, I don't think she's put no, I don't think she's... Oh, there is. We had to have it. Let's hope this is amazing from Claire. And we have... <laughs> we have the Sisters Grimm. So I'm going to pop this on the table and I will give you a little show.
So it is a Sunday morning. Um, I didn't vlog anything yesterday. It wasn't 100% yesterday and things just seemed to get on top of me. So I just left it at that. However, I have been listening to Guinevere Deception on Audible. I have four and a half hours left of it. I'm on chapter 16. Um, I managed to listen to quite a bit while I was in the bath yesterday. I thought that I would pop in and now that I have checked with the um, with the book tour that I'm doing that I'm okay to add this to my vlog I can show you the full cover of the book that I will be reviewing I take part in the book tour my day is the 28th of February so if you haven't already check out my Instagram and on the 28th of February there will be a full review on this book um, quite possibly on Goodreads as well I think I might transfer everything onto that um, the main reason for jumping on now is that I got quite a hefty parcel this morning so finally the last few of these I've had have torn halfway through and have just stopped so, I need to find, okay, okay, oh, there's, there's three books in here. So these are all from Claire. <laughs> and I'm try, I try not to pay too much attention to the notes because I feel like it's a bit of a giveaway sometimes because underneath it does actually say what book should come with that note. So I, I do try to hold the bottom of the note sometimes when I'm looking. So I have, <laughs> I always struggle how to say this bit, but I think it's Love Boat Taipei. If I'm completely wrong on that one, let me know in the comments because pronunciation is not my forte. Um, I actually saw this on a number of channels on booktube and just really wanted to open my eyes a bit more to some contemporary something that was a bit different and when I read that it was almost like a frat party school sort of thing where teachers turned a blind eye to stuff that was going on I was like yeah I'm gonna get that <laughs> but that went straight on my wish list in fact, I think it only went on a few days ago, but it went straight on as soon as I reread it and thought, yeah, I definitely like the idea of that. I'm trying to be a bit more picky as to what I put on my wish list because I've got so much and it's just building up constantly. And what I've found is that I put certain ones on there and they get left and they've been on there for months. And I have the opportunity to pick a book or I have the opportunity to buy a book and I don't go for those and I don't know why but maybe I need to relook at my wish list. Okay so the next one oh my god is the quiet at the end of the world another one by Lauren James. If you've been watching my vlogs you will see that I have read quite recently actually the Starlight Watchmaker which I absolutely fell in love with. I also read The Loneliest Girl in the Universe which I loved the writing, I just wasn't very keen on the ending but I do seem to really really gravitate to Lauren James. I really am enjoying her writing. The Starlight Watchmaker unfortunately it didn't hit the spot for me purely based on the fact that I wanted more. I enjoyed the idea of Hugo the android so much that I wanted more about him. I could do with a hefty book on Hugo. Okay, and the final one ah, is You by Caroline Kepnes. I, I have obsessed over the series on Netflix. I am just enthralled in psychological stuff. I love the idea of being able to 
know how somebody works out something or how they find their prey, how they in their head then justify it as this person wanted it. I have also recently watched season two. It took me a little bit longer to get through, but that was just because it was very different. They were both good series, but they were very different in the sense that the first season you didn't know anything about him and you were getting to know him and as I said the psychological side to things you would see that whereas with season two without giving too much away there isn't so much of that calculating side of things I didn't feel anyway um so I wanted to see whether the book was better um a lot of the time I do tend to go towards the book being better. I wanted to find out whether it was more so I was enthralled by how the actors portrayed the characters or whether it was just a really, really good storyline. So I feel like it's gonna be a really short vlog this week, but it is pretty much because, I don't know if it's been a bit of a slump or if it's just been a busy week, but I haven't really done a huge amount of reading. Um, however, while I've just been editing, I have, started never tell and i am on page 37 for that and i have also listened to the audiobook for guinevere's deception i'm on 227 for that um and i don't think a lot more is going to happen um as of now so I'm probably going to end this vlog here. Again, I'm really sorry it's a bit of a short one this week. But I'm hoping that next week will be a little bit better. So next week I have sort of sectioned up already um, my reading. My um, priorities next week are going to be Bear Town, which I'm starting tomorrow. And then alongside that I am going to continue with Never Tell. Um, and then whichever one of those I finish first I'll just sort of let the Sophie Kinsella book sort of continue on from that one so if you have enjoyed this vlog then please don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe if you haven't already thanks so much for all your support so far it means the world have a great day bye